guys, in this tutorial, I'll be using Morphe Brushes eyeshadows. Actually, one of their eyeshadow palettes to create this makeup tutorial. This is what it looks like. And I didn't do bold colors. I did semi-bold colors, but they're not bright, as you would think I would probably do. But no worries. In the future, I would definitely do some bright looks using this palette. The colors I used are absolutely amazing, every single one of them. I used four eyeshadows for this look. Five eyeshadows. did do kind of a red crease. I did an orange buffer. I did plum on the bottom and I did a mixture of plum and gold on the lid. You'll be, exact, you'll be able to see exactly how I created that. Also, I used the Morphe Brushes Contour Palette for my cheeks and I really love that. I really love that palette. For an outfit, the day be sure to check the info box. You can see exactly where I got everything. We're in the video and if you're interested in seeing the look, stay tuned. I first took my Apparently Paint Pot as a primary base on the eyes. Immediately on top of that, I took my Ben Nye Cream Color in white just on the lid and crease. For the entire look, I'll be using my Morphe Brushes 35B eyeshadow palette. And it looks like this. I got an eye mask. Sorry, my chair is making noise. It'll probably be like a year by the time I post this. I'm trying not to make it that long. The first color I'm taking, I'm taking as my buffer shade. I'm taking this orange color right here. I'm actually mixing it. I'm taking this orange at the bottom and mixing it with this color up here. It's like a medium pink color. I'm mixing those two together as my buffer shade. I'm applying them with my MAC 217 brush. For the eyelid, I'm also mixing two colors together. I'm first taking mostly this shimmery plum color at the bottom right here. I'm mixing it with this gold color right here, shimmery gold, like a shimmery yellow. I'm taking very little of that. I'm going to start with the plum, apply a lot of that on the lid, and take very little of the gold. It's going to create this gorgeous satin taupe similar color. So there's a dupe for you. If you guys don't have satin taupe, grab this palette. You can definitely make it yourself. I'm using a small flat shaded brush from Teamwork. I'm now taking this tapered blending brush from Kirkland and I'm grabbing red eyeshadow in the palette. It's the one right here. This is going directly into my crease. I'm going back with the orange in my crease, just the orange. I'm now taking a color that is a dupe for rice paper. It's way better, in my opinion. It's a lot more pigmented. It's this color that's third from the top right here. It's gorgeous. I'm using this as my teared up color, also my brown highlight color. Taking Sedona Lace EB09, starting with the highest point of my brow. Just buffing that orange out again. And I'm gonna buff out the highlight color, so I think it could use a little more blending. I'm now taking a brown eyeliner. This is the Me Now Generation 2. Perfect Eye Lip Liner Pencil in number 15. It's the brown. This is also going on the waterline. That same plum color I used earlier, I'm using it solo now to set that color. I'm taking this color right here. And a MAC 219 pencil brush. I'm going to line my eyes with the Modus Cosmetics Noir Liquid Liner, and I'm going to apply my Romo London Wonder Lash Mascara along with my 747 Extra Short Lashes, which look like this. And I'll return to show you the rest. For foundation, I'm going to take my favorite mix. I'm using my Wasel Thon Touche Eclat Illuminating Foundation in B70, and I'm grabbing my Cover Effect CC Cream in Golden Medium. I'm sorry, Medium Deep. By the way, while I was away, I did apply my Cover FX Cream Concealer and Golden Medium as a concealer to hide those ugly dark circles. For those, I'm using a Royal Care Cosmetics Foundation Brush. This foundation is pretty much done for. I'm down to this. <laughs> Literally. It's been so good to me. I'm grabbing my Morphe Brushes Contour Palette. This needs to be glued down. I'm taking the Contour Palette in 9 BZ. This color is going to fall out. I'm taking this one right here at the bottom left, like my favorite one in the palette. It has a little reddish tint to it. I kind of like my contours to have something like that. I don't know why. But I'm taking that to contour this face. 
By the way, this is a Mac 163. I don't know if they still have it. I don't know. For blush, I'm taking Modern Mandarin from Mac. I'm using a colorful online blush brush. I took very, very little of that. I don't want too much blush. I really want the focus to be on the contour. And actually, it's the highlight. I'm going to grab that rice paper out of the palette. It's this third one right here. Using that same brush. I'm going to touch up that lash band. For lips, I'm taking this brown from MAC called Antique Velvet. It's a matte. I did put lip balm on my lips because they were just going to go crazy with this matte lipstick on top and me not moisturizing underneath. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. If you guys are interested in like an outfit of the day or anything like that, check the info box. I'll have it down below for you. I'm wearing a crop top with a fringe suede skirt, which I've been searching for forever. I've been looking for a, a suede skirt or anything suede for the longest. I'll just briefly show you and you can see exactly what I'm talking about. Okay, so this is the fringe skirt I'm wearing. It's kind of like a skirt almost, but it's not it's a skirt. I love it. I'm obsessed. But you guys can just check my blog for that. I'll definitely have an outfit post for you. If you guys are interested in seeing pictures of the look, list of products used, all that good stuff, that will also be in the info box. I'm linking where you can find all of that. Also, the technique with highlighting and contouring I used. I'm trying to figure out a way to put this without shading other people. That's just a technique you can use if you don't want to put an extreme amount of product on your face. As far as putting a lot of white stuff, a lot of dark stuff on your face. It's okay. It's just not for me. I just feel it's unnecessary and I can get the same effect by just doing what I did. If you guys want me to do a more detailed video on how I highlight and contour, just let me know. And I would do one. Again, I'm not hating on anybody else that does it a different way, but that's just how I highlight and contour. It's a lot simpler, it takes a less time, and it gets, achieves the same effect. You still have contoured and sculpted cheekbones. So, if you guys would like to see a tutorial on that, I don't think I've ever done one in the seven years I've been on YouTube. I've never done that. Let me know if you want to see that. I will talk to all of you soon. Thank you for watching.